Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to another video. Today we are making three nourishing, high protein, filling, healthy, energizing lunches that you can pack for work or school. Since I'm a grad student, I kind of feel like every autumn or like every mid-August is almost like a new year for me. I don't know if any of you other students or people that work more on like an academic calendar feel like that. The fall semester just feels like the new year to me. That's like my January 1st. It's the time that I get a new planner, that I plan new routines, that I plan new recipes, or I set new goals for myself. I've really been enjoying this summer. I've had a little extra time off throughout the week, but that is all about to change. Change. I really wanted to test some new packable lunch recipes that were gonna keep me fueled and focused. My brain powered through all the school and work that I'm about to engage in. I recently went back to school to get a graduate degree in nursing so that I can become a family nurse practitioner. I'll leave the link for that video up here if you want to check it out and learn more about that. Today we are focusing on food and if you don't know already I eat a plant-based diet so primarily vegan food but these recipes they might be vegan but they're gonna be full of protein super filling and nourishing for the body and the mind we're starting with a quinoa Greek salad I've got a couple hacks that make it super easy and super quick to put together I've got some quinoa cooking on the stove back there so while that's cooking we're gonna make some tofu feta I'm gonna start by doing a quick tofu press I'm just putting a clean dish towel over my cutting board and we are going with just one third of a block of extra firm tofu. So extra firm just means it has less liquid than like a firm or a soft tofu, so we won't have to do as much pressing. So we're just gonna take it on a paper towel and press it like this and then fold the kitchen towel over. And we're just gonna use our muscles and press down. Tofu is gonna flatten a little bit, but that's okay, it's just all the moisture coming out can even flip it over, get the other side. Now we're left with much drier tofu. When the tofu is drier or pressed like this, it just means it's gonna soak up more of whatever flavors you add to it, and it's gonna have more of that like feta cheese, crumbly texture. I'm gonna crumble up my tofu so it's like the size and the shape of feta. We are going to flavor it up so that it has like a cheesy Greek feta flavor. A tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So high in B vitamins and other micronutrients, garlic powder, I would say about a teaspoon, some dry parsley, about half a teaspoon. I actually have some fresh oregano growing in my yard, but if you don't, just use dry oregano, or you could leave this out altogether. I just love the flavor of oregano. It really gives that Greek, earthy, savory flavor. So that's about half a teaspoon of fresh oregano, or you could use dry oregano, maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon, because dry is a little bit stronger. A wedge of lemon. Lemon just brings out the flavor and adds that nice acidity that cheese would normally have. And just about an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm just gonna chop up some cucumber and some leftover tomatoes. If you don't like raw tomato, you could use red bell pepper or sun-dried tomatoes. I just love a pop of red in the salad along with all the green. Half of a cup of cucumber. Tomatoes are in season right now and they are just delicious, especially the heirloom tomatoes about a third of a cup of chopped tomato. Now we're ready to assemble our quinoa salad. One cup of cooked quinoa, our cucumber, chopped tomato, and now here is the hack. The dressing and a little extra flavor 
we are adding some olive muffalata. So this is just like a mixture of olives, olive oil, and even some carrots. This is gonna act like our dressing. Get this from Costco, but you can also just find any other brand of olive mufflata at any of your supermarkets. It's usually in the international aisle with the Italian foods. About a fourth of a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. That way the quinoa can absorb that oil from the muffalata and all those flavors can get in there. Top it with our tofu feta. Transfer it to my lunch container now. A little extra protein and fiber. We're topping it with a half a cup of chickpeas. Next up, we're making some smoky lentils and sweet potatoes. Just took half of a white sweet potato, cut it into these about half inch cubes. I really like a white sweet potato, but you could use a regular orange sweet potato. It's gonna taste just as good. Season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of this high heat oil. This is a sunflower oil, it's organic, just like literally about a half a teaspoon, but you could totally leave the oil out and just use some water. To make it nice and smoky, we are going to season with some smoked paprika. I just use my hands and I toss it all together. I am going to use my toaster oven. That way I don't have to turn on my ovens. Going to put those in there and they cook really fast. So I set my toaster oven to the convection setting. It is on 450 and to do for about 15 minutes. Already cooked my lentils. They're just here on the stove. I made a huge batch, so we're not gonna use all of these. But when I make my lentils, when it start, when the water starts to boil, I add a bay leaf. Dry, organic bay leaves. I just add one in, and I think it just adds a lot of depth of flavor to the lentils, so I just need to take that out. One cup of cooked lentils, pinch of salt. To make them nice and smoky, we're gonna add some liquid smoke. A little goes a long way, so I'm just gonna do about an eighth of a teaspoon. Just give that a quick toss. Oh, it already smells amazing. In goes the smoky sweet potatoes. For packing this for later, I will put it in a Tupperware, but I'm just gonna plate it up just to show you how I would plate it once I was at work. Okay, so you know we definitely need to add some more color to this. I'm gonna add some avocado to the side, mixed chopped lettuce to the top, almost kind of like a smoky sweet potato lentil burrito bowl. Then you're just gonna add a dollop of your favorite salsa. third and final recipe is the quickest and the easiest of them all. I showed Trader Joe's has a lentil penne in my tr last Trader Joe's haul, but I also found this week when I went that they have now a spaghetti version. So this is yellow lentil pasta, super high in protein. So we're going to use these to make like a noodle stir fry. My lentil spaghetti just went in. It takes about seven minutes for that to become al dente. So over here in a skillet, it. I am just going to use half of this bag of Cascadian Farm Organic Chinese style stir fry blend. So there's green beans, broccoli, carrots, red peppers, onions, and even mushrooms in there. So we're just going to put that in a hot non-stick skillet. We're just going to cook these until they're nice and tender and heated through. Add a little bit of flavor while they cook. I'm just going to pour in about a teaspoon or so of this coconut aminos, but it's basically like a soy sauce. So if you have gluten-free tamari or a soy sauce, definitely use that if you need to. This adds a really nice salty flavor to the veggies. Veggies are nice and tender. Our pasta is done, so I'm just going to transfer the noodles Hopefully none of them fall. Hopefully all of them make it into the warm skillet. This part is optional, but I'm actually gonna add some chopped red or purple cabbage just for the color and I have it in my fridge. Your purple cabbage is a super amazing, super high source of antioxidants. We are going to go in with some of this Trader Joe's 
almond butter turmeric salad dressing. It's got lemon, ginger, turmeric, and black pepper. I think it's gonna be really, really good as almost like an almond stir fry sauce, but you could also use like your favorite teriyaki sauce or peanut Thai sauce, whatever you like. Just the point is that it's store-bought and you don't have to make it yourself, but this one has really good ingredients. We will just toss it all up. Look at that. Look how pretty this is. So it's all plated up now. Just going to garnish with some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. But you could also just use plain sesame seeds if you don't have the seasoning or just leave it off completely. If I were packing this, I would put it in one of my containers, just as is with the lime wedge. I would eat it at room temperature, I would eat it cold, or if you have a microwave at work, you could heat it up again. So those are three new lunch recipes I'm definitely going to be taking with me to work and to school for the autumn semester. In the comments below, let me know your biggest struggle with planning your lunches. Do you end up eating out? Do you end up packing PB&J? Tell me what happens. And let's start a conversation down in the comments. Let's help each other out with some of those struggles that we face every week to try to stay healthy. Like this video if you wanna see more recipe videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little red subscribe button down below. Did you wanna say bye? Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!